the all, I hope you're good. I'm Veronica. I'm back again in new videos based on the second season. So uh, for short, it's it's for long. I mean, uh, it's regarding the seven questions that were also explaining by the previous videos. So it's been said that this you can find it a different way also to make your survey questions. You can make through these device software online a uh, different way to make your 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 survey question more adaptable and more touch the overall. So you don't especially need to get your feet face to face and make your your survey question to be established. You can straight away have online and then you touch your people is in the network and then you make those people actually answer the questions. So this is mainly the thing with different sources to make the survey questions. You have different platforms, different things that can make straight away online. We talk about a lot of digital at the moment, so uh, quicker. So this time me, I have much more time or I like to go to different stuff for my dissertation uh, with the dissertation from uh, SICAM basically. What I really did is by going also in, in other fields to different returns such as next uh, next such as uh, Zara, HGM, such as uh, Primark, such as Pretty City organizations. It's a return for clothes, especially for clothes that I made my survey questions to really see the view of how those retail actually um, understand or if they knew the African brand. So by knew by knowing the feedback is actually could give the strength to really with the the end of a CCAM. If we scale CCAM want to touch the European market, they must see our uh, the mark the different return in the in the in Europe or international our uh, commercial the African brand. So I did that and also made the survey question to student, to professional, I made in Switzerland face to face, I made in Germany, I made in France face to face. So this is make me make the measurement of it uh, by doing that face to face. Following that, um, the methodology is also uh, demonstrates that, and it's helped a lot. I've been discussed about the literature review Kirby. It, it really answered the different questions that being um, asking from the end and the researching the end of the research that I've been saying early which is focus on this orange orange key as you can see the color is orange and it's, it demonstrates the M and the objective and it say what is the market in the African continent fabric what is the SWOT, the Afro African textile project brand so this, the challenge that African brand has to as I said to the literature review was mainly in terms of tariff quota, marketing brand protection, corporate skills and also transportation infrastructure as well, so they can make that to make easier. And then the technology that can be the key of the success for African market factory to improve the way they respond to the high demand national. It's been talking about the economic skills and then the fabric are sourcing fabric in the continent and European and then the, how they can lean and agile to the supply chains. You mainly focus that for those organizations such as this uh, example from this European uh, course, the, the brands organizations actually go to the village to ask uh, the, the, the people in the village to produce for them by hand so they make every production with their own hand so if you you just think in the number of, of basket of the shoes that they can make during that time how long what is the lead time compared with those equipment when you have equipment you can go straight away like visco visco actually has equipment that is easy to produce the African brand, the dresses and everything. It also involves skills in terms of skills, uh, open university schools so that they can have skills to know more how to design, understand the market, know how to use the equipment so that they can listen to the market. So this is what has been put into it. And how, and then we've been talking about the African economic scale transactions and everything. So government policy is very important in Africa. African brand textile is a main main profit for the continent. Either is African brand, but also for the African for either clothes and textile for the economic. So it's very they've been talking about the tariff quota that's impacting the exportation and importation to either in Africa. So the leader are really taking considerations the end of the supply chains of African continent in terms of M on any kind of industry. I give an example of African brown, but the supply chain itself is very talking about the deep, deep, deep situations of the supply chain of African. 
then we follow you with the, the Google metrics that I undertake there. So why we should overcome this risk management? How can we receive this by collaborations with different different organizations? Also making a new job because there are some land, some organizations, taxi organizations are actually change locations simple because in where they are, they are competitors such as Chinese and Indian market who actually come to the continent and controvert the materials. There are many manufacturers, there are people from the country actually have their own business, they lose the business, they lose the job, they lose the employees simple because they have another competitor who provide a cheaper mark, cheaper price at a controvert cost, controvert materials, which is the same, but it's not the same quality. So people prefer, even the people from the land prefer to prefer so controvert materials simple because they do not have enough resource. So they, they, do, they go there and they push us from there. So in this case, African continent has to think, and Visco demonstrates that by having their own brand, Visco uh, uh, label to protect the, um, the criminal activity that can impact in the supply chains of African brand within the African and external African. Then we're also talking about, as I say, in the literature review. So the literature review is a consolidation of different sources for different materials that are consolidated from different journals, reference, especially focused on African and also some part in European because it mainly focus on the international European and see how the supply chains can be improved, where is the needed solutions. We see that the infrastructure needed, we saw that is the skill is needed, we saw that uh, there is a money is needed. We saw that there is a protection of brand is needed. We saw that the market research, like in terms of understanding the market demand, is needed as well. So, in conclusion, this it, the improvement can be made because the material is in demand. We can see that there is so many people who are actually purchasing this material for specific reason, specific cause. So, in this case, the data collection, as I say, the data collections has made uh, the synergy of quality, qualitative and quantitative data. So I collect for by May, contact the SICAM organization, I contact many organizations in African continents, and I end up find myself in, my, in, in Cameroon, which is uh, the SICAM who provides such information. So uh, it was mainly by email, the communications that we had, I never had the chance to talk to all, any other people by phone. I only communicate by email with these organizations. So this is a way I collect the information from them and it took me a while to get this information. It took me a lot of months to receive this information, especially when you are in the UK as I see early and the organization is in Africa, in very far away. And you never leave the, the organization, but you try to collect the information from these organizations, which is not an easy way. So and then um, following that the data analysis, so the data analysis is primary data and then the right in the research in the CTAM. So it, 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 is, um, it is the way I have the limitation of the strategy of the, of the work was mainly focused on be physically in, into the organization, see how the operations process and the supply chain are made. Either from the background of the supply chain or transportation, it make me easier to understand the supply chains of, 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 Cam of Cameroon and understanding through the literature review the different sources. There are not so many reference regarding such information through the subject on the online in that time. Today I believe that there is an extension because when I see how the market in terms of the fashion industry, especially with this garment, are really already in, in town, in the in the demand in Europe, in America, in Asia, in everywhere. It's really it's really used, it is really in demand, so it's profitable. So it, it is something to really consider it and to, to take to not to grant it, but just to, to take this is a, a profit for the economic. As I say, the one of the president in Ghana said that this is the economic of African African brown textile. So uh, the limitation was not be physical to the organization, but many communicate by email, not either by telephone. It was by email only, by email that I had the only the way to communicate with these organizations to have provide the information. The only time that I have on the phone was when I say thank you and I say um, that I got my bachelor transport and logistics that uh, the subject has been approved. So that's that's the only way that I say thank you uh, regarding that. So following that. I made an analysis. So the analysis was made. I give an example of um, 
of how it's going deeper regarding that, regarding this researching, I, I have here an example of finding researches. From here, you can see here and here. The, the closing, you can see the close, the picture. This is actually an example of the close that I did commercials. Based on my research, as I was not physically at other university, I, I was not physically in Cameroon, so I was working uh, on this subject by being in, in the UK. We have the University of the a Student International Office, which is actually made each country represents where they are coming from, as a come from the background of Cameroon. With African and um, especially in Cameroon, I represent my my culture, my society, which is called in Cameroon society. I was the president of the society, so basically the job was to discuss, to to share to everyone what is the culture of African brand, what is the culture of Cameroon society. So we have a fashion show where I was basically coordinate was supporting one of my friends, co collaboration actually with the Chinese, the Chinese, the Chinese, focus in for, for taxi, it started only for taxi himself and then added with the African brand, each country for this international student, like for different country actually demonstrate their own clothes, their own garment for their country. So it was the time for me to, do, to show the African brand, our African clothes, uh, how it's where the internal. So this is an example of it that I add through the research of my dissertation. So it, it just say that Sikan Cameroon is actually towards one hundred percent of cotton. Sikan cotton transformation mundial is two thousand seven to fifteen. And only the manufacturing in the country you know called Sika economy downstream of cotton. Sikan Cameroon manufacturing providing textile of cotton and distribution and produce, show spinning, waving, bleaching, day in finishing the semi ten percent cotton fabric fancy collection and then second collections this is a, an example of second collections and this is an example of the clothes uh, is where you can see some dresses very large dresses that you wear and it's easy to to do it so it's really easy way so so i also discuss the different uh because on the sh on the document that i received from um the data that I received from a SICAM is actually show us show me um, through the reference that they communicate with some organizations such as the Sud Cotton. Uh, we need cotton. The cotton, the raw material cotton, is actually using for creating the textile itself. So um, we talking about um, um, the data demonstrated based on SICAM and also explaining based on that. Uh, talking about the different data, uh, talking about the suppression of SICAM based on the data that I received from them, and then um, make a comparison with them because, as I said early, make a discussion. So I make an analysis of SICAM uh, with the data they actually demonstrate and be given to me that I see early regarding the KPI of the cell and the different location where they actually put the distribution, the manufacturing, the central and everything in different little right in Africa, in Cameroon. As I say, Cameroon, they were only focused on Cameroon market. Uh, so they, they make the market only in Cameroon. And the, my literature review was mainly for all global of continent African. So it was broad for African continent. For SICAM, it was mainly for Cameroon. So understanding the supply chain in a deep way, and understanding how SICAM will make this market to show how they can improve it to touch different different places, locations in Africa and also in the market in European and international. In this case, as I said, uh, the data that I receive, I, ex I make Excel sheets and I make a, a graph regarding the different literal. So I have an example here of how I've done the graph that uh, demonstrate how you can make an analysis based on the data that they can be actually show you and demonstrate to you. You can basically uh, translate that in a different way. So in this way, is I'll say the, the graph based on that. And you also can design the supply chain. So I, I designed the supply chain of the of SICAM. So this is an example of the supply chain of SICAM in, into the Cameroon, into the Cameroon. So this is the supply chain. This is their supply chain. This is how the supply chain is made. It is made, they actually have SICAM Douala. It's where they make the production on the manufacturing side. Then 
is a process of raw material to cotton where it goes for sodic cotton, the, the materials. Then we go into the literal Douala locations established through the country with network of wholesalers, one distributions where all the all the store, all the pallet is made as dispatched to this location and then we go straight away because they made the the transportation so I the there the strategy is made by by road or by sea depends because even into the Cameroon you also need to on the text on the transport that they use you can use different type of transportation in this case is 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 road is road and, and sea and then it's demonstrated different the different store where they actually go and then for example they go to the little one Aqua, Ecotex Douala, New Bell, Madagascar, Bimanda, Shop Santa Douala, Boutique Sitam, Limbre, Saint East, Yaoundé, Ecotex Yaoundé, uh, Mombi, B, Azi, Beta, Nendok, <laughs> Zud, Eboloa, um, Zang, Ligan, <laughs> and Ki Oza, West, Bafusa, Bamenda, Bufa, North, Gondel Gawa, Shop Santa Gawa, Marwa, Kozui, and Direct Sal. Direct sell and sell on pine, and then you see the return of the war center. This is their supply chain. This is how they are working into the littoral, into Africa, into Cameroon. In terms of developing now, because if you made a decision based only on the data, your your information, your decision is going to be a very narrow dissertation based on only the data that you collect from the from the organizations. In this, in this way, it's really focused on the continent and the textile industry to understand how the supply chain is made, how this challenging, how the supply chain is focused on, on the on the marketing, how the supply chain is focused on the trades, on the economy, in the collaboration with the supplier, how to select your supplier, and also uh, the sweat of the African continent, the strength, the wickedness, the opportunity, the trade of African continents. Which which market are really used? Is it the, the product are very used in Africa? Is it the, touch the all the borders of Africa? Because as I said, it's such an urban market. It's even really show that it's showed it's actually external to the urban market as well, and also to different artists, which has been said. It's responding how African can control their own trade and themselves so that they can dispatch to the little to all the African continent and then strength and then can cost co commercially in a different way this is the a, a simple way that can proposing to sikam which is strong to the market so that it can be strong also to different market in africa and also strong in other market in european that's what the survey question is being provided to understand the different retailer such as as i said ichm next zara and then a uh, pretty city uh, store is which are UK. They were in the UK store. So it's actually those mark those matter as knowing that you must know the where you can commercialize that. This is this is the propositions that has been made and has been approved and are pass it. This is the supply chain over a market. How um, a market are made in the market and how is it made in Africa, especially in Cameroon. So I'm really pleased about it, and then I make a comparison when I was talking the discussions, really making that uh, Sitam Cameroon is an organization that's really located in uh, Africa in Cameroon, and their job is really to make a manufacturing process to make it through the Cameroon market based on how they supply chain into the local of uh, regional of the ma of the country. Now, if they wanted to touch the international and touch the con the continent. The understanding of the market research of the continent African and understanding of the impact that the government has on the trade of African can actually impact in the supply chain. They can impact in the market and also open more profit to the organizations. So this is based on any kind of industry that um, establish a textile brands or African brands must understand the African continent because uh, this is our brand, this is our flow, this is how we identify ourselves to the market. So for any other, as I say, to the supply chains, sustainability, uh, su supply chain that I've been talking early, it's also talking that not only on industry, the supply chain is really in the, in general, in all kind of industry. 
say taxi, normal taxi, taxi for closing, and also understanding the market and stuff. Because in Africa, we're talking about infrastructure. We and we talking about the the, the the deal that African continent has. That's that's the supply chain and stuff. In the supply chain, I speak about the supply chain selection and so on. So yes, this is um the the, the how I made it, and then uh, if you have any questions regarding that. Uh, I will be very pleased to give you more information. Um, it's, it's it's black and white. Any questions regarding that, I'm here for it, and I will be pleased for it. This was the best opportunity, best opportunity that I had to really understanding without being physical in Africa to understand it. I make research, as I said, the research is made through sources from the referencing from Google, from uh, Unilearn, from different sources, and also uh, from organizations and. That's how the, the, the daisy has been made. In conclusion, African brands are, have a good brand in overseas and also in African continents. They bring profit to uh, the economy of the continents. It's many the big profit to the economy of the continents. They are very challenged with many issues that have been undertaken and have been listed early. But fortunately, at least we know that this brand is commercial and it can be selling everywhere. And fortunately, I will say that the supply chain of African continent can be very strong when the leader of all kind of country in Africa are coming together and have a centric international. As I said earlier, I put to the link the link of the government or continent of Africa. I put the government. The government in the different countries in Africa you know, actually consolidate themselves and make the trade because the trade free trade that has been set it to establish to make easier the supply chain within the continent, which has already been done there. So I, I will put again this video so that you can see how the trade in Africa is made. For any kind of business, it's easier. For any kind of export and poor, for any kind of supply chains that people wanted, for example, for for uh, making a supply chain for any food, for food, for example, for clothes, for equipment, for for anything. By the time that you understand the trade of African continent, it's easier to make your supply chains. Because as I said before, to make anything, the any organizations must understand their supply chains to 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 control the supply chain and also to open the market. You must understand the market where you put your food on. And you must understand if your project that you actually go and collect and ship and store and commercials and people come to SA in really in demand, what is uh, in the market research that is the most of the demand. So thank you very much for your listening. If you have any questions regarding the term of the supply chains, I'm willing to answer anything in projections, I'm willing to answer anything in term of procurement, processing, I'm willing to answer Anything regarding the supply chain, anything regarding operation, anything project management, anything regarding even commercial, anything regarding even marketing, anything regarding market research, you can ask such questions. Humanitarian education and business and engineering, you can ask such questions and we'll be very pleased to answer to our SCOP International Society. And I thank you very much for your listening based on the Easy today was the numerous videos that I put on with these dresses is focused only on the Tesi of 2015 based on CTAM supply chains, based on the continent African supply chains. So thank you very much for your listening and I thank you and I see you later. Bye.